A stunning rate. Currently, there are just over two billion Christians in the world, which will increase to three billion by the year 2050. Now on the surface, that sounds exciting, but a closer look reveals a concerning trend in church growth that must be addressed. A recent article in World Magazine indicated the greatest need of the church today is leadership development. It said, and I quote, the church has done a good job of evangelizing, but a poor job of discipling. It goes on to say, Christianity around the world is a mile wide and an inch deep. In other words, people are coming to Christ in record numbers in almost every country. And as a result, many new converts, even those without training or proper leadership development, have risen into positions of leadership. Now the challenge with this is, is clear and has actually become the defining principle of global leadership training. Leadership will destroy the man or the woman whose character has not prepared for it. In global leadership training, we know the worst thing that can happen to a man is for him to succeed before he is ready. With higher levels come higher devils. Advancement and promotion in leadership brings fiercer temptations, harsher attacks, and limitless opportunities for corruption. You see, as a leader is enlarged and becomes more successful, he has more control of money. More people will surround him. There will even be greater admiration and even attraction from the opposite sex. And if that leader's character is not deep and his integrity is not sound, all that money, that admiration, that attraction becomes a powerful temptation pulling him into sin. And unfortunately, too many leaders get into trouble because their integrity does not keep pace with the momentum created by their leadership. So the vision of global leadership training is to proclaim this fundamental truth. Before God takes you higher, He first needs to deepen your character. It's one's integrity and humility and ethics that provides a foundation for healthy leadership. And this is why since 2001, We've been providing leadership training around the world to impart this very principle. From Ghana and Nigeria to Kenya and Tanzania, from Canada to Cuba, and from India to South America, we have done over 50 conferences in these nations that focus on this one essential truth. Healthy leadership begins with healthy character. Our primary focus is to provide training conferences with skilled presenters teaching on themes such as personal integrity, financial integrity, sexual integrity. We explain the importance of structures of accountability and focus on the need for humility and servant leadership. We also explain how leadership is a trust and the leader's purpose is not to serve himself but to serve the people he has been entrusted to lead. And to enhance this impact we also provide our participants with materials such as this, the character of leadership, which has been translated into Swahili and in Spanish. Also, we provide this resource, How the Mighty Have Fallen, which has also been translated into Spanish. And this, this book called The Trust of Leadership and our newest publication, Upward, Taking Your Life to the Next Level. Global leadership training understands the importance of providing practical instruction on the how-to of leadership as well. Good leadership requires competence. In other words, there must be certain core competencies and skill sets that leaders must develop to remain effective. So our training material also focuses on practical issues such as team building, conflict resolution, people skills, time management, vision casting, and even strategic planning. In fact, it's been said that global leadership training conferences like a crash course in leadership on a collegiate level. In fact, we've been endorsed by the President of Ghana and the Chief Justice of Ghana's Supreme Court. We've also been endorsed by national church leaders including the, the Assemblies of God General Superintendents of Ghana and Nigeria and Rwanda and Kenya and Tanzania and even Cuba. 
If you're already a partner of Global Leadership Training, I want to thank you. It's because of your prayers and financial support that we're able to train leaders around the world. And if you're not yet a supporter, and you have a heart to raise up healthy leaders in developing nations, please consider becoming a partner of Global Leadership Training. You can go to our website, globalleadershiptraining.org, to learn how, or contact, contact us at email at globalleadershiptraining.org. We'd love to hear from you. So on behalf of our team here at Global